I decided to animate this effect that I first made in Photoshop and then Illustrator as well. I'm gonna leave the links in the description of the tutorials so you can check them out. Now, this effect has been inspired from the poster that was made for the International Typographic Style Exhibition poster in 2026 by the greatest Max Littledale. Go check out his social media pages and show some love. All right, so step one, let's make a new comp, rename it. I'm gonna go with 4K resolution, 2997, six seconds, orange background, click OK. Let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press the letter S, scale it up here. We're gonna to need to move the anchor point into the center, press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. And from here, we're gonna activate the 3D settings, check the little box here. If you don't have these settings, click on the toggle switch and it's gonna show up. Now you can rotate the XYZ rotations, arrange it however you like. I'm gonna go something like this. The Z rotation is plus 30-ish. After you are satisfied with it, collapse it, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And from black, we're gonna recolor this to white. So let's go here to the properties and click on the fill, select the white, click OK. And we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in warp. And let's drag and drop the mesh warp on the first layer here. And you select one of these crossing sections. And if you move it, you can see it's gonna start distorting it and warping it. You also can increase or decrease the rows and columns, for example, on 13, 12. This way you might have different distortion effects. Now we're gonna animate it. I'm gonna activate the stopwatch at the distortion mesh. And I'm gonna go here to the 15 frames and I'm gonna start distorting it. For example, I'm gonna go and click on this crossing section, bring it up and do it with the rest as well. Now we're gonna bring this to the first second, select the layer, press the letter U. So this way it's going to highlight the keyframes. I'm gonna select the first keyframe, which is basically the normal. I'm gonna place this to the first second, press Ctrl C on this keyframe, press Ctrl V to duplicate. And this is gonna bring it back to normal. And here I'm gonna distort it differently. And after this, I'm gonna select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C. I gotta go again to the 15 frames, press Ctrl V, and bring the work area all the way here. Select all keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, hit play, and there you go. And this was it. Thanks for watching.